And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on my latest episode, post-match analysis of Liverpool versus Southampton. If you're new around here and you want to get involved on this channel, massive red I am, and all the reds around the world, make sure you do hit that subscribe button And if you want to get involved in all the latest episodes. Anyway everyone, Liverpool sit top of the league, what a fantastic result that was everyone. And it was made even better with the VAR controversy. That happens against City versus Tottenham anyway. City rightfully denied a goal in the 93rd, 4th minute anyway. VAR denying them once again like they did in the Champions League last year. But fantastic. City have dropped points and that's great for Liverpool. But most importantly, Liverpool picked up three points today really. Three valuable points. Southampton in the majority of that game. They had fantastic periods of the game. Obviously, Liverpool dominated with 64% possession of the ball. But when Southampton had 35, 30, yeah, 36% percent possession today in general terms, they were very good with the ball. I think, and looking at the stats, they, they created 14 shots to Liverpool's 15, and four, they registered three shots on target anyway. Southampton's goal it very much come from a, a mistake by Adrian. I think we can all. Agree on that anyway. Southampton, very good in the press, especially pressing our back line. And that allowed them to get the goal in the back end of that game anyway. the Adrian was... He's still a little bit dodgy anyway. But it, it's it, anyone's going to look dodgy if you put some of the world's best goalies in, in the back of the net anyway. Because we're so used to watching the likes of Alisson in goal. And Edison, both keepers are very... The, the phenomenal in terms of the ball playing from on the floor and obviously distributing anyway in terms of left foot, right foot and, and with their arms as well. But Adrian, fair play to him anyway. Today, I felt, for me personally, everyone, I want to gauge your opinions. His shot stopping in some of those shots. Obviously, Southampton only registered three shots on target, but those three shots on target were very much threatening in that first half. Uh, he was coming out in the right areas, yet he might uh, give away the goal anyway. But it, don't forget about all the great stuff he did in the game. You can just highlight that, yeah. He, he, he done a little hiccup, but it, it's going to give him a lot more confidence in the back end of the game. And I don't want to be sitting here and, and saying, oh, he's done one bad thing anyway. Because he, he done one bad thing, but there was a lot of more positives to come out of the game in terms of, terms of Adrian's performance, really, everyone. Um, Sadio Mane really yet again um, Liverpool's match winner anyway getting that goal just before half time anyway perfect time really to get the goal what can we say about Sadio Mane that's not already been said really everyone uh, he's on another planet really in terms of he's the man that has been firing for Liverpool over the last 12 months when Salah hasn't been on his top game anyway Salah had a great opportunity into the night. I think it was the first half when he was one on one with a with a, it was a gun. Um, the Southampton goalkeeper, very great save anyway, but to deny the Egyptian. But Salah, he, he played well. I, I think the whole Liverpool team did play well today. Very very tricky um, place to go, St Mary's. Liverpool have strag struggled over there in the past anyway. But uh, it's great that we're. Yet again, like we've seen last year, there were so many occasions last year when Liverpool were coming away from games, not playing the best attacking football, really, but we were grinding out results. Uh, and I think, even though we did dominate possession of the ball, really, today, it was a, it was going to be a game, really, of highlighting the differences in quality, really, in terms of Southampton they haven't got the quality in terms of the attacking areas and defensive areas of Liverpool anyway, but that's that's what separates the best teams. Players like Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino stepping up once again. Uh, Bobby had a great opportunity, didn't he, that he just slightly dragged wide in that game prior to him scoring on the 71st minute anyway. Fantastic ball goal anyway, the way in which he just took the, took the possession of the ball and he just... It's like he, he just... They sweeped it into the back of the net, everyone. I think we can all agree it was a, a fantastic um, finish anyway by the Brazilian. And it's so important. I was speaking to a lot of my mates and I was 
when I speak to every single one you use on, on, on the, in the comment section below and on Twitter and everything. It's so underlying the importance of Roberto Firmino. Uh, every game that goes by, the, the importance of the Brazilian anyway. I was speaking to one of my mates. We were talking about how if you look around Europe, there's not very much Roberto Firmino type players. There's no one could replace him. Neither that be Messi or Ronaldo because all three of them are very different players. Roberto Firmino, I'd struggle really to, and I think Jürgen and Liverpool would struggle to replace what he does on a football pitch. It's the way in which when we've converted him from a, an attacking midfielder, the, the pockets in which he picks up, we've seen that last week and we've seen it today, the pockets in which he was picking up today, it was he's annoying, I'd hate to defend against him um, if you're an opposition player because... He drops in between the lines and between the defence and the and the attacking areas. No one can really pick him up. And that was very evident from the goal. If you watched on Match of the Day, everyone, or if you've seen it on Twitter or whatnot, let me know your thoughts. The movement off the ball creates that goal. It was fantastic. So, so good. And and uh, what can we say about his celebrations? I think if you, if you haven't seen it, I think after the game last week... Um, <laughs> Uh, what was it? Firmino was saying to Mane, stop copying me celebrations. Or if it was the other way round anyway. But I'll tell you what, uh, Roberto Firmino, he's an absolute mad case, isn't he? Um, to put it in polite terms anyway. He's, we love him. Bobby, don't change for anyone really, mate. Because he, he's one of a kind. And he's one of a kind in terms of his positional play in world football. But those two really today, and, and obviously Adrian when he was called upon, fantastic. Defensively, um, Trent, it was great to see him back in anyway. Obviously, Joel Matip coming in. I think with Joel Matip coming in today, everyone, obviously, we've been playing with Joe Gomez, centre-back anyway, but fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. The defence did look a lot more stable in terms of the ball playing, um, the way we were passing the ball anyway today. It felt it didn't look as cagey as it has been over the last two weeks. Obviously, with Adrian, the more he plays in goal, the better he will get in terms of his distribution. But Joel Matip coming in, it, I hope Joel Matip is playing against Arsenal because when you see the likes of Nicolas Pepe, Aubameyang, Lacazette, um, when, we, when we will be playing them on the weekends next week, they will be closing down very much so. Uh, and I think Joel Matip... That is our best partnership. Uh, regardless, obviously, I think there will be a lot of opinions out there on Joe Gomez... He's probably a better defender than Joel Matip, but let me know your thoughts. But in the long term, I'd rather see Matip alongside Virgil van Dijk because I think that breathes a lot of confidence, and it did today in terms of the defensive, their confidence on the ball, whether that's Trent as well. I think he'd rather much see a Joel Matip alongside him than a good Joe Gomez. Yet the more times those play, Joe Gomez and, and defence play together, but in, in the current form anyway, and in the long term, I'd, I don't want to be messing around with the defence. And today was fantastic, Joel Matip anyway. Trent, back to his best yet again. Uh, Southampton were very much trying to isolate uh, Trent very much in that game. But I felt he coped very well with, Nate, with the likes of Nathan Redmond and all that. And, and um, Ryan Bertrand anyway. And, and that Adams young lad, the, the new striker. For, for Southampton anyway, he had a great opportunity, which I felt he just missed off target in that game, he, he should have buried really, but it was great to see Danny Ings come on, I'm happy he missed that sit of everyone, could have been a, we could be sitting here with a completely different game anyway, he had a great opportunity to, to score the second, uh, and, and he very much fluffed his lines, thankfully, um, but great, I'm, I'm really hoping that, I'm happy that he didn't score the second goal, but it was great movement by Danny Ings anyway. Obviously, it was a mistake by Adrian, but the anticipation yet again. I talked about at the top of the show, didn't I? Everyone in terms of how Southampton were pressing. Uh, and Danny Ings, you get, that's what you get with Danny Ings. Hopefully, Danny does score a couple more goals and it's not against us anyway. But Southampton, huge credit to them. When it, when they, um, I think if they play... Like the way the way the way they played against Liverpool today, they will get a lot more points, and I very much can see them finishing in the top half anyway. So if there's any Southampton fans out there, uh, your your manager today, whoever is it, Ralph, 
Um, what's his name? Ralph Hassenhutl. Uh, he's a great manager, and you can already see the Im- the impact in which he's had on Southampton. Everyone, so Southampton fans out there, it, it, he's going to be a great manager for you, and he, like he has already been doing, he's already can see. I think he always can see the the impact in which he's had, but. He played fantastic, but the Reds played even better today anyway. Brilliance from Roberto Firmino and Saudi Mane yet again. And we are top of the league. And as I started the top of the show, um, great that Tottenham. Fantastic game anyway. Just a side note, fantastic display, display by the, uh, the Londoners anyway. Yet again, it's, I think it's the f- I've seen a stat really today after the game, um, the City-Tottenham game. It's the first time City have dropped points since January. 2019 which is mental and um, that just puts into into context really how dominant City have been in the league it's mental but it's great to see Liverpool picking up the three points most valuable and it just goes to show um, we're two games into the Premier League and it's already heating up in the Premier in in England and I cannot wait for the the end of this season hopefully we are champions everyone but it's a, there's a, such a long way to go and Huge credit to Southampton, huge credit to Liverpool as well. But everyone, thank you very much for watching the post-match. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. Get, make sure you do get involved. I want to know who you thought, your period of the game that you felt. And going towards the Arsenal game, everyone. Um, what do you think we need to improve in our game today, really? Our game today wasn't ideal, really, in terms of... Even though we got the, got the result, but it's not 100%. I think yeah, we will come out with that game wanting Adrian to play a bit more better with his feet, but that will come, everyone. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will be replying to all your comments, and I will get all your comments in the next episode, everyone. So, as always, Reds, top of the league for now. Come on, mighty dead men. And uh, man of the match, if you had to pick one for me personally, I'd, oh, it's an hard one, Bobby or... Bobby or Manny. I, I've got to give it for Manny. Uh, that goal was fantastic. Perfect time to score a goal, everyone. But everyone, have a quality rest of your night. Reds, wherever you are in the world, have a quality rest of your night. Enjoy your Saturday afternoon any- anyway. And uh, we can relax and watch the footy on tomorrow anyway. But I'll see you later, everyone. Have a quality rest of your night. Day, wherever you are in the world. And if you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. See you later, Reds. Come on.